So, you join me here at Welford Pools. Uh, I'm on the top lake. We're in peg one. Uh, it seems quiet. I've not seen anything show. Uh, I've spoken to a couple of guys around the lake. Apparently, uh, the lad that has just got out of this peg did manage to catch one either last night or the night before. Uh, the wind is right down in this corner. Um, it's looking really, really solid for a bite. Uh, I'll show you what bait I'm using later. I'm fishing the far margin, or I say the far margin, my margin. Um, it's got reeds all the way up it. It looks a little bit snaggy. It looks like somewhere they would be. It's also a little bit shallow. Um, the weather has been 16, 15, 14 degrees, somewhere around there. Um, I think it's 14 at the moment. So it's looking really good. Um, considering we've had some cold weather it's warming up they might be in the shallower water they're definitely going to be in the margins um down in this corner i hope so i would like to think that we're in a very good position but it's about half 11 right now and uh there's all of the day and all of the night to go so i'm feeling really really positive i'll update you on what bait i'm using my rigs and stuff shortly uh, but for now, I'm going to sit behind the rods, watch the water, see if I see any shows. If I don't, I think I'm going to stick to my guns, um, go with what I think and stick in the margin because I really think that that can produce. I'm not sure if they like it in the day here or if they're more nighttime bites. But all I know is that I am confident in what I'm fishing right now, which really, really helps when you're not really fishing to anything. I have just had a beat, but I'm pretty sure there was the wind. Um, but yeah, it, it, when you don't have anything to show, the one guy said that he's been here two days now and he's seen one show, um, and that was in like the other half of the bowl, so I thought maybe come down here, uh, as there has have been a few fish caught down this end, so I'm hoping uh, that we can get some out of it, I suppose, so hopefully I'll update you with a catch, but if not, I'm going to sit here, I'm going to drink my coffee, and just wash the water i think that's the most important thing right now uh the like i said it's it's february but it is 14 degrees so i'm expecting them maybe to be showing a little bit but i don't think they show a lot on it at all so i'll leave you to it and hopefully we can get something So I'll show you the rig that I am using. So as always, rig tubing, simple leg clip system. And then today, very soft braid, 25 pounds, quick release loop with a quick release swivel. A little hinge on there with pink dumbbell pop-up bit of putty on the center there and it'll just sit nicely like that in the water now in the summer I usually go for 
match the hatch. Uh, but in the winter, I think you need that extra attraction. I think you need that extra bit of oomph in your hook bait at least. And uh, that is why I've gone for a pink pop-up, uh, a dumbbell pop-up. I also will be hooking on with some escapists very small bag of maggots with a couple of pellets in it to help compact it down. This really, really small. Uh, and that will just keep a nice tight bit of bait as I'm, I'm going around passing the bait over the margin um, with a spoon. But this will help keep the bait really, really tight. So it will have something to sit around. Uh, so yeah, that is what is on the uh, one rod. The other rod, I I'm considering at the moment I've got the same setup but with a single pop-up corn uh, but I am considering massively putting a zig on and trying that as I'm not really seeing anything and maybe they're just not on the deck um, but I'm not I'm also not seeing anything show so it's also hard to cast a zig out without seeing any shows so I might give that a go until the light dims uh, another like two three hours and then maybe I'll go back in the margin for the night, but we'll see. So I will very briefly just take you through the bait I'm feeding with. Uh, so we do have a mixture of uh, boilies, 12 mil, just crumbed up, broken up, as you can see in there. Don't know if you can see them very well. We have a few in there, as you can see. Uh, then we have red maggots. Um, I love red mag maggots this time of year, and I think a lot of people do. It's very much a go-to. We have some two mil uh, pellet in there as well, which is something nice to get into the, uh, into the lake bed. So if they are to find the bait, they're gonna be shuffling around, they're gonna be mooching, they're gonna be having a look at it. Obviously, you have the attractant of the maggots moving around, which is massive at this time of year. And then I do have a sort of uh, seedy, hempy kind of mix. So we've got some hemp, uh, some... I don't actually remember exactly what seeds, but there are multiple different seeds. Um, there's a no nut basis at this lake, so we do have seeds. Um, and then topped off with a little bit of glug. So there's plenty for them to go at there. Um, it's all been soaking so it's nice and soft I'm not putting it in solid bags or anything um, like that as I said I'm fishing to the margin so it's gonna be nice and easy I can just scoop up and pop some in the margin exactly where I've just cast or exactly where I want to cast um, to make sure that I am baiting accurately but as I said in my previous video at this time of year it's cold the fish probably aren't gonna be looking for food um, although it is has been 14 12 to 14 degrees today which is quite warm for, fe for February the fish still aren't going to be hunting for food so when they come across or if they are to come across your bait or if you are to cast on them or whatever whatever you have in there you need it to be a sorry you need it to be attractive you need it to draw them in you need it to basically make them want to use energy use precious energy to look for that food so that is why I've gone with a very a very bitty crumbly wet just sort of anything to get them going if they are to come across it and obviously the maggots are massive this time of year um, they really do get the carp going if they find them so um, yeah that is what we're fishing with today a nice it's, it's not as bright as I'd like it to be um, for this time of year but it's definitely got a lot of nutrition, a lot of stuff for them to go at. So yeah, that's what we're using and hopefully it bags us a bite.
so that's now both rods out for the night uh, just before it gets dark it actually looks a lot lighter than it is the sun setting just over the back there as you can see we're still down this far margin we've moved up a little bit into this area and this area really really hoping that we get something through the night but again there's no saying that we will um, it's looking good for it though the wind's still pushing down into this corner so if they are fish that move on the wind then we could be in luck um i've baited up for the rest of the night as well so fingers crossed that is all we can do uh, i've seen absolutely zero shows all day and i don't think anyone's actually caught anything all day either um so the best we can do is fish what i'm confident in which is exactly what i'm doing fishing what i'm confident in margins pop-ups you name it i've done it and fingers crossed we will get something um so yeah as the nights get darker a lot quicker um it's about half five now so i'm pretty much going to sign off for the rest of the day and i will catch up with you in the morning unless we get something through the night then of course i will catch up with you then but otherwise it's been a stressful day because there's no reason why i shouldn't be catching but fingers crossed we can get something and uh, i've got something to show you at the end of it and it will be my first fish of 2023 so hopefully not the second blank of the year as it goes the ducks are now ruining my swim and just picking up my lines and there's nothing i can do about it so i'm gonna have to move my rods which is not what i want because i'm confident in that place and now they're gonna eat all the bait there i'm gonna have to move my rods because i'll just do it again and i'm not gonna be confident all night now so that is what keeps happening which is which is great really great good morning so i'm without update unfortunately as you can see ducks are just they've just they're still smashing that spot that i pretty much baited all yesterday and um, which is really annoying <clears throat> luckily i baited down in this bay, right down in this corner here. This morning I have seen the odd bubble or two um, and, a, and a very, 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 quite possibly like a slight swirl, uh, which I'm hoping is fish kicking around there. Um, so I still have confidence in that rod on the right in the corner um, that was over there, but I moved it. And then my left hand rod now is out towards the island because I literally can't have anything on that reed bay anymore because they're just smashing it um which is unfortunate really but i'm still confident we have about two and a half out sorry we have about two and a half hours remaining um but i am quite confident still like i said the fish were boshing all last night i just hope that we can get the first fish of 2023 um all this will be back-to-back -back blanks um on two hard venues though to be fair um, we're not fishing easy venues. It's not an easy time of year to start with. So, um, yeah, it's unfortunate, but hopefully we can get something towards the end of the day. But if we can't, then it has been a pleasure. And most importantly, it's been a learning curve. So I forgot to do an intro, uh, sorry, an outro, but 
unfortunately, as you can guess, we didn't catch anything uh, the second time. But we've learned a lot and I certainly will be back to Welford. I have to get one of those scaly mirrors, um, preferably the, the fully scaled. But I really want one and I've been there twice now and not caught. So I really want one. If you can hear puffing, I've gone to pick up my little bud. Because he's been being looked after all weekend. So he's joined me in the van for the outro. But um, but yeah, I really, really hope you did enjoy it, although we didn't catch. And uh, I will see you next time, which will be very shortly. And I do believe we're at the Islands Fishery next. So keep your eye out for that one. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.